I think an EE in mathematics is for somebody who genuinely enjoys mathematics, is uh, curious about mathematics, um, not just at the face value that they might see in their coursework, but um, wants to dig a little bit deeper or wants to know a little bit more about the interconnectedness of different fields of mathematics. Um, that if they had the time and could dedicate uh, the space to really dig into something um, that it would be mathematics just out of, of, of cur intellectual curiosity really uh, more than anything. Um, somebody who would want to see how math really works um, and, and what are its applications. Um, they are um, somebody who uh, would want to see it from a historical perspective. Um, how has math been used in different eras of human history? Um, how uh, is math going to be used uh, in the near future or in the far future? Um, how does math function as a means of communication? Um, how does math uh, manifest itself in the arts? These are all different ways that um, that you will have the opportunity um, and the time to really explore something uh, that you might want to be curious about when it comes to math, not just uh, equations and formulas and algorithms on the board. I think the biggest misconception about uh, an EE in mathematics is that you must uh, produce PhD quality mathematics on some esoteric rare corner of the mathematical world um, to show that you are an elite mathematician who can play with topography and nth dimensional geometry. Um, that's not the case at all. Um, the, the, the real purpose of the EE is to um, see math as a tool, not to try to prove uh, Fermat's last theorem, which was unprovable by people who um, spend a lot of time on mathematics. Um, that would be the biggest misconception. Um, other misconceptions include um, that it's going to be all about, uh, it's going to be pages and pages of calculations, uh, that it will look like a math textbook, and that's not necessarily the case either. Most quality mathematics extended essays uh, look more or less like prose um, and, and flow in that way. Um, they try to answer a question about mathematics uh, or to uh, more frequently use mathematics as the tool to answer a question uh, rather than it being the main focus of 80% uh, of the text that goes down on paper. So some frequently asked questions uh, might include, do I have to know exactly what I'm going to write about from the get-go? The answer is no. Uh, your EE will evolve uh, right up into the, the last, say, six weeks or so of writing it. Um, I've had students who started off wanting to examine uh, the economic impacts of the abacus to uh, Chinese culture a thousand years ago and wound up writing on how the algorithm associated with the abacus is the underpinning uh, architecture for the modern calculators. Um, I've had students think they were going to write uh, a math paper on uh, the algorithms that model traffic flow and wound up in completely different directions and they were all very satisfied uh, at the end of it. So just know that, uh, no, you do not have to have a very specific title right out of the gate. Um, the second question that a lot of kids have when engaging in a math uh, extended essay is about the use of different graphing, software, spreadsheet, typesetting things. Um, and sort of a cautionary thing I would say is yes, you do have to have a fluency and facility with a lot of different apps so that you can convey your understanding of mathematics in conventional ways. Uh, mathematics is a foreign language and it has its own um, meanings, conventions, vocabulary, grammar, um, and you will have to follow them explicitly uh, to score well. Again, yeah, and I, I guess the biggest takeaway is that um, an extended essay in mathematics is about exploring and finding the usefulness, the application, and the beauty of mathematics and having the time uh, and space and challenge in front of you to do so.